Hello. What's up, everyone? It's Goose, and today, I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner. And today, we're going to be looking into 2024 and seeing kind of what neural DSP might look like in 2024. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the quad cortex, which is very, very dirty right now. But also, I'm going to go over some of the plugins that Neural DSP makes as well. The Quad Cortex was released in 2021, and it took a bit to get going. It promised a lot. This unit has its own stock component models, as well as captures and the ability to capture amps. They eventually released the desktop editor, which is one of the things they promised at launch. And that was this year, like not that long ago. And they finally started working on plugin support with the Pliny X. And it's not compatible yet, but it should be soon and honestly for a new brand a relatively new like brand in this kind of space they promised a lot imagine promising like the most powerful unit as well as the most user-friendly unit the most accurate amp models in one of the most compact enclosures for a full-fledged model it's it's quite a lot it's a lot for a new company to do and in my opinion they got like 80% of the way there. It's their debut. It's going to be expected. It's pretty impressive in my opinion. So in 2024, I think Neuro's going to be spending a lot of time trying to get this thing up to speed, trying to get it to where they initially promised the quad cortex would be. Now I'm going to list a few things I personally want to see from Neural in 2024. These might not be like the most popular takes, but I actually do think these are things that Neural is missing compared to the competition. And I would love to see people get the most out of their Neural products. Before we move on, if you like talking about guitar gear, and other nerdy stuff like that, consider hitting like and subscribe. All right, so the first thing I want from Neural is just to update the existing stock models on the Quad Cortex. So they have updated this unit with new stock models. I think one of the most recent ones is the Victory Kraken, and that's Rebea's signature amplifier. And while I think that one sounds amazing, and as well as like some other models on here, like the 5150 Stealth, I think the other models are kind of lacking a little bit, especially since other companies like Line 6 and Fractal have been updating their older models. Helix had their 3.5 update, which upgraded the cab models. And Fractal is known for just being really good at updating previous models, like previously released models with better and more accurate parameters. And so in my opinion, the only way to get the stock models on this thing to be on par consistently, like I said, a few of the models like the Stealth are really, really good sounding, but for all the models, I think they need to go back and maybe update the existing models that are on this unit a little bit, especially since I know Neural can do it. If I wanted a 5150 Stealth, like model, this is the one I would go for. Also, Fractal just released the stealth model for the Axe FX3, so I wonder how that one compares. Anyway, I think there's a lot of potential here. Even with the older ant models that are on here, I think if they just went back and updated them to be more consistent with the quality that some of the newer added models have, I would think that would be a great next step for Neural. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about with the Quad Cortex is one that a lot of people have really, really wanted, and that's plugin support. Earlier this year, they had released the Pliny X, and even though that is now out and you can get the Pliny with the, the X update, and that plugin is technically compatible with the Quad Cortex, the Quad Cortex itself has not been updated to be able to take that yet, as of this recording in December, 2023. This is kind of the last major feature that the Quad Cortex really hasn't done. A lot of things that were promised, like the looper, the hybrid mode, the desktop editor. Basically what's missing is just now plugin support, but that's actually the biggest hill that this thing has to tackle. Originally, Neural had mentioned in their writing that it would just be a single update and then all the plugins would work. As time went on, I'm guessing their tech debt caught up with them. Now they have to update every single plugin individually. And as someone who's worked in tech, this is kind of indicative that there are two teams at Neural working on this, as well as another team on the plugins, and they're very separated from each other. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just the business has to now somehow make them work together. And sometimes that could come with a lot of friction. So we'll be getting these updates one by one for each plugin. And in 2024, I hope at least half the plugins get supported by the Quad Cortex. I think the most popular ones like the Gojira, the Petrucci, the Fort and Cali, if they added those in 2024, that would make this the one to beat. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so the third thing I would love to see from Neural is more amp suites. So yesterday they just released the Morgan amp suite, which is all the Morgan amps with like the AC20. And I think when they released the Mark II C Plus as well, they had the Mark II C Plus suite. I think that was a great move as well. Ever since I tried the Josh Middleton plugin by STL Tones, I've realized that while neural plugins do sound good, the amp models they're giving you in those archetype plugins for the specific artists are limited versions of those amps. The Josh Middleton plugin on STL Tones offers three amps with all the channels on each of those amps. Versus neural plugins really offer you three amps with limited tweakability in each of those amps. The neural archetypes for the specific artists only tend to give you kind of a flavor of those amps that the artists use. Since these artist settings are fixed, a lot of these archetypes, at least to me, feel kind of like a hundred dollar, a hundred fifty dollar like presets. And I understand that the three amps that they use for the archetypes aren't necessarily the same amplifier. At least for me, it kind of feels kind of bad to get an amp model from an artist and not be able to like adjust something that I'm used to on like the real version of the amp because it's not necessary for the artist to have that adjustable at all. But going back to the amp suites with the Soldano with the Mark II C Plus, I think this is where Neural really shines actually. It's just so complete feeling for all these amps to have all the dials and all the settings. And that just makes it easier to not feel limited as opposed to when you're using the artist archetypes. Imagine like an official neural suite of like orange amps or a Marshall JVM. Imagine neural archetype boss katana. <laughs> All right, so the last thing I would love to see from Neural is actually announcement of new hardware. The Quad Cortex is very powerful. In a very ideal scenario, you can actually run a bunch of different instruments into this thing. And for the use cases of a band needing just one unit to run everything, I think this is pretty ideal. But this does MSRP at $1,700. You can get it used for a little bit cheaper, but it's still well over $1,000 to get this unit where a single person might not use all the functions and all the power that's in this unit. A lot of folks have been embracing smaller kind of little modelers like this, or even one of the main competitors to the Quad Cortex in terms of capturing is the Tonex pedal. And people like these because you don't need a, the giant thousand dollar unit to get the tones that you need for yourself. You can look at the Fractal FM3, which has the same tones as an Axe FX3 and with less power, but a lot of people use it because you just don't need that much power. A unit that's more powerful doesn't necessarily mean that it sounds better. And so for those of us who don't care necessarily about the power, I think Neural can learn a lot from something like a Tonex. This is already achieving the thing that Neural had promised two years ago of having plug-in support on your device. And it's only $400. Just like my slightly cursed thumbnail, I could totally imagine a smaller sort of half-powered quad cortex, like a duo cortex or something. Something specifically made to load captures that you get from your Neuro DSP plugins, and maybe also still have the ability to like load captures that you would get on a Quad Cortex. Kemper actually recently just released a unit that does that, basically a smaller Kemper unit that can load a lot of the profiles people create, um, not necessarily create profiles on its own, I actually don't know if it can do that or not, but it is a smaller unit and it helps people get into that ecosystem. And in my opinion, Neural can only benefit from that. You might not be able to get massive signal chains like you can on the Quad Cortex out of a half-powered unit, but the folks that are using Neural plugins every day also aren't using crazy like signal chains either. And they still get awesome tones out of just the plugin and nothing else in the signal chain. And I think it'd be awesome if it was like priced somewhere like a thousand dollars, maybe under that. So yeah, if Neural, if they're watching, I think a duo cortex or whatever they would want to call it for a half powered version of this unit. I think that would be like the sickest thing. We've already seen how popular the HX stomp is. Something like this can fit on a pedal board, but an HX stomp just fits better. And you can route so many of your actual other physical pedals along with that HX stomp than you can with this. And this thing is pretty compact, but it's still not compact enough unless you have a really big pedal board. But yeah, I think it'd be awesome for folks who really don't need all the processing power here, would still love to use their neural plugins live, but maybe don't necessarily want to also bring their entire laptop onto stage just to use a plugin. But yeah, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below if you think like a duo Cortex or something like that would be a good idea for Neural. 
Are you still waiting on like a specific plugin to get support on the quad cortex before you pull the trigger? Or have you just been disappointed in Neural completely and don't even care if these updates come? Let me know in the comments down below. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next one. Later.